Jai Hind and very good morning, dear children. Today we are going to study about the poem The Ball. The Ball is a poem of class 10th. So let's start the poem The Ball. Here is first stanza which is I am going to explain. What is the boy now who has lost his ball? What what is he to do? I saw it go. Merrily bouncing down the street and then merrily over there it is in the water. Merely cheerful bouncing, jumping up and down. In this stanza, poet tried to explain. The poet is talking about a boy. Who has lost his ball he wants to know about him and his reaction because he has lost his ball further he asks himself what the boy would do after losing his ball the poet has seen the ball going away from the boy he says that the ball was cheerfully jumping up and down in the street this means that when the ball skipped from the boy's hand it went into the street and later on it fell into the nearby river next stanza no use to say oh there are other balls and ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy as he stands rigid trembling staring down all his young days into the harbor where his ball went i would not intrude on him a dame another ball is worthless now he senses first responsibility in this stanza the poet says that there is no benefit of consoling the boy by saying that he will get another ball because he has other balls too. He says so because the boy is feeling very sad. He is completely surrounded by sorrow. He is sad because all the memories of childhood days went down the harbor with the ball. Here. The poet says that the boy is very sad as the ball which has now gone into the water reminds him of those sweet memories of the time when he owned it. This loss is unbearable for him and he is grief stricken. The poet says that he can't even tell the boy to take some money from him in order to buy another ball he says to because the new ball will not bring the sense of belonging to the boy further the poet says that the time has come for the boy to learn the responsibility of taking care of his things next is Tenja. In a world of possessions, people will take balls, balls will be lost always little boy and no one buys a ball back, money is external. He is learning well behind his desperate eyes, the epistemy of loss, how to stand up knowing what every man must one day know and most know many days how to stand up. In this stanza, poet says that the boy has to learn that in this materialistic world, many of his belongings will be lost. He personifies the ball as his belonging, be it 
the worldly things or the relationship he is in position of so he says that he has to learn to live without them no matter what he says no one can buy back such thing for him the poet said so because according to him money can't buy you everything if it does buy you some materialistic things still it will not be able to buy the sense of belongingness he says that the boy is learning now how to stand up against the sense of lost things this means that the boy is trying to learn to real truth of life which states that you have to accept the miseries miseries of life and stand up again this is the truth which everyone has to learn in his or her life the harsh truth of standing up against the odd miseries of life that everyone has to bear key point of this poem for mind mapping the little boy has lost his ball he can buy many new balls but he has a very deep emotional attachment and memories associated with the ball so he regret over the loss of the ball the poet is indirectly trying to tell us that we should learn how to cope up how to cope up with the loss money is external we can't buy memories with money we all should learn our responsibility and learn to cope up with the loss so i hope you all are understood this poem in last